Hello everyone. I am Zeynep Şölen Yıldız. I am a member of Future Wire Research Group from Koç University, Istanbul, Turkey. I'm going to present our paper that we wrote together with my supervisor, Özge Suvaşim. And the title of our paper is a Virtual Collaboration Tools for Mixed Stability Workspaces Across Disability Solidarity Case from Turkey. So I will start with a brief background to contextualize our findings. Uh, only 22% uh, percent of disabled individuals in Turkey participate in the labor force. So is the case worldwide, remote working opportunities are presented as essential employment opportunities for the disabled community in Turkey. However, it's documented that the inaccessibility of the remote work environment is not even considered by employers and by the law, so which echoes the results of US-based studies. Disability justice, which is framed by disability activists, is also an emerging perspective around accessibility studies in HCI that provides a framework for working towards equity and justice-oriented designs. In a recent Pi workshop named Dreaming Disability Justice, scholars criticized existing assistive technology research in HCI, which not always attempt to the complex lived experience of disabled people. So disability justice provides some principles to guide researchers, practitioners, and activists towards more equitable moment building, which highlights independence, collective access, cross-disability solidarity, which are more cl uh, closely related to, uh, to the focus of our study. So cross-disability cross solidarity is defined as building a movement that bre breaks down isolation between people with different disabilities who experience ableism and isolation that undermines our collective liberation. So in light of disability justice, in creating accessible and physical and virtual spaces, existing literature focused on how mixed ability teams collectively and interdependently create accessibility through various collaborative tools. Considering current studies, it's become clear that the mixed ability teams and the mixed ability interaction is majorly defined as in terms of how a disability group collaborates with a group of non-disabled people and how different disabilities interact with each other is significantly less explored. However, mixed ability teams must not only ensure that members individually have access, but also face the challenge of coordinating various and sometimes conflicting access needs across disabilities, which is highlighted by a study uh, by Mac et al. that focused on interactions of a distributed team with different disabilities and without disabilities. So our study aims to extend these studies on cross-disability interaction by focusing on the long-term interactions of a team with different disabilities and also people without uh, disclosed disabilities who work together in a majorly virtual environment and collaborate with external parties. Our work provides details on how the conflicting access needs are handled, how team formation, interactions between the team and external collaborators affect the accommodation. Further, the challenges of the non-Western setting, such as the language, bring unique challenges for the use of English on the collaboration tools that are not yet fully addressed in the previous work. Therefore, our findings contribute to this existing literature and the cross-disability solidarity principle of disability justice, by showing the challenges from a case in Turkey while creating an accessible virtual workspace and providing design implications for virtual collaboration tools that better support cross-disability collaboration. So our research questions are, how does a mixed ability team collaborate to work together virtually? What are the challenges a mixed ability team experience while creating an accessible virtual workspace? and how do they solve them, and what might virtual collaboration tools can better support mixed ability teams collaborating. In terms of methodology, the team is a social enterprise that provides coaching for all areas of life to be accessible. They consult a diverse spectrum of institutions to make their services accessible to everyone. They aim to ensure accessibility for all disabilities. So in order to give a such inclusive consultancy, 
They wanted to have a diverse team and therefore create an accessible virtual workspace to accommodate this team where they work together through virtual collaboration tools. Here, the table shows the disabilities of the participants, and this is based on how they define their disability. Like there are members with mobility impairments, wheelchair users, blind, low vision, and deaf people, as well as people without, without disabilities. So we conducted in-depth interviews with these team members, and for data analysis, we tried maintaining an open and flexible approach with continued analysis and discussion sessions, and conducted thematic analysis to came up with our themes. So based on our analysis, we present our findings under these two core themes. The first one is managing the virtual ecosystem a day in the mixed ability virtual workspace. And second one is negotiating solidarity, running the mixed ability virtual workspace. So for managing the virtual ecosystem, there are virtual video conference meetings, collective communication during the day, and collaborative editing. Here we see that some tools were replaced with more accessible ones despite their function by the team. For example, while Asana is mentioned for work tracking, Slack is used at the end of the day to track the division of labor since it's considered more accessible by many members. To collaboratively edit documents or ideas, the teams prefer sacrificing defense tools and they appropriate their trusted tools such as Slack beyond the initial intention of the tool. For negotiating solidarity, they are thinking collaboratively about access and balancing priorities around access. Running a mixed workspace that includes the co cooperation of people with different uh, and diverse needs required a mixed team to define access for the team and balance their priorities to make decisions around access and manage conflicting access needs and collaborate. For example, for thinking collaboratively about access, Shek says that through observation and constant interaction, everyone in our team expands their vision on different disabilities and needs. I think it's something worthwhile. Everyone in the team is transforming while we guide other people. So for balancing priorities around access, we observe that to ensure solidarity, the team works to balance internal and external, as well as individual and collective priorities. Working with external companies with like more top-down traditional work cultures that majorly do not prioritize accessibility, the mixedability team needed to keep pace with their practices while trying to create a bottom-up work culture that values accessibility. So the accessibility that is not op offered by the collaborative technologies seems to be compensated through collaborative accessibility practice of the team over time. For this, some of the team members prioritize attending meetings that are with external collaborators. For example, I can say that we learn to work together and meet everyone's needs. We get training about the platforms we use to each other or support each other while we use the technologies. How, do, how to do this is not written anywhere, we learn through experience. Finally, our study shows that mixability team strives to achieve a bottom-up work culture and new norms that is based on cross-disability collaboration. However, the existing tools are under equipped to support the practices of the mixability team. To begin with, we imagine some design improvements for virtual collaboration tools. Design implications are listed for virtual collaboration tools on sustaining the emerging virtual workspaces for better support cross disability collaboration in our paper. And I encourage you to check our paper. To summarize the core three implications, these are center collective access and conflict resolution with team formation, support balancing external power dynamics, support language and cultural diversities as part of interdependency. So thank you for listening and I will be happy to answer your questions.